Hey everybody, Lord Dilly here. Listen, I want to give you an analysis of this last play, the Dak quarterback draw uh, in this Cowboys game. I want to show you kind of what went down, what it's supposed to look like as far as what the umpire is supposed to do. You know, the umpire is the guy that spots the ball versus what happened. And before I jump into that, uh, I want to show you the post game press conference. Dak's take, it's about two minutes long. I highly suggest that you watch it because it gives you kind of an idea of what his thought process was and what it was like in, in his shoes and, and how he felt about getting bumped by the ref at the end. Um, so I want to show you that and then we'll jump into the analysis. I'll put up the the timing so you can skip the DAC press conference if you want to. But again, I think it's important. It's about two minutes. Check that out and then I'll give you my analysis on what went down. Let's check it out. Went, ran, ran, went, got some yards, uh, went down. As I was getting behind Tyler, saw four seconds left. Thought it was time, obviously, uh, to, to make sure everybody was set. And then, honestly, just got hit from behind. Uh, and then still there, when I gathered myself, saw two seconds and thought I could get the snap and get it down before time expired. Um, and unsure exactly what happened other than that. Yeah, I did. I mean, as I said, that's something that we've practiced over and over again. Uh, obviously, as I ran, um, went down, I think their, their guy actually did a great job of, of jumping on me. Um, kind of late, I guess you could say there, but that's that's what they're taught, right? Laying on me, I think that may have cost us an extra two seconds or so. But once I got up, as I said, um, as I'm getting behind Tyler to, to, to clock the ball, I saw four seconds. And then as I got hit, um, as I said, I, reached, I tried to gather myself back and still thought I had time to get it down. And didn't go that way. I mean, in hindsight, yeah, I can say I should have, I could have went down sooner if I'd have known all of that was going to play out that way. But um, I also think if I don't get hit from behind, it's a, it's a clean, and we're, we're, we're clocking the ball with it with, at minimum a second, if not more, if not two or three uh, on the clock. And um, as I said, their guy did a good job too of diving on me right there at the end of giving them an extra two seconds, I guess, to run off. But yeah, I mean, if we're if we're looking at it now, I could say yeah, I could have went down five yards earlier, but. Um, thought I'd got us in position and thought I had time left to, to clock the ball, as I said, and something that we've practiced over and over and was going to be able to get into um, a last play scenario. Yeah, I mean, no, we've practiced it. You hand it, you hand it to, the, to the center. The umpire, all he has to do is usually come in and tap the ball. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, don't, don't, know, don't necessarily know exactly why the – why the hit happened, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I know he's going to come in and touch the ball. Uh, I, we can say, yeah, he needs to be closer to the ball or whatever, but um, in hindsight, I mean, it's just tough. Just, yeah, tough, tough to, tough to accept. All right, now that we heard from Dak, I want to show you what this is supposed to look like in a, in a hurry-up offense, two-minute drill. The umpire is the guy who spots the ball. He starts the play behind the line of scrimmage, and... He stays planted, stays in place to watch the offensive line and kind of a broad view of the whole play until the ball passes the line of scrimmage. Once the ball passes the line of scrimmage, he's supposed to start moving up in a hurry to get to wherever the ball carrier is so the ball carrier can hand him the football and he can spot it. Let's take a look at what that looks like right here. This would be a... They sent four. Seven back, Rodgers fires over the middle, caught Adams. Adams will try to get out of bounds, he's at the 49. Now I want you to notice here, the umpire has made it up the field as the player Devontae Adams stands up with the football, tosses him the football, he goes and spots it before the offense is even set. So now the onus is on the offense to get set and ready instead of the umpire. So let's finish watching this and then we'll transition over to the Cowboys game and I'll show you what happened there. Stop there. Rogers will come up and spike it. 25 yards to Devante. All right, so you'll notice in that game, it was a 25-yard completion, and it was 10 seconds until the ref was there with his arms out waiting for the ball. Here, you have 14 seconds. It's a 15-yard gain, and the ref is nowhere to be seen. Now, you'll see him come running in at the very end, bump into Dak because the offense is set. Ref is supposed to spot the ball. I mean, what he did was pick it up, move it, and then move it again back to the original spot. So that took a second. Really should have just touched the ball and got out of the way so they could spike it. I mean, Dak was down with nine seconds to go, and it took the ref four seconds to even come onto the screen, to even be close to the play. This is probably the best view you'll see. I mean, the play is basically concluded by the time the umpire is even moving up towards where the ball carrier is.
you can see here Dax down and the ump's not even in the frame. He's still all the way back where he originally started the play. And here he comes just trotting along, finished up his cup of tea, and now he's ready to go ahead and uh, be a, a, an umpire again. Now you can see the visible confusion from the players, the coaches. Everybody's like, what the hell just happened? A mass confusion here. Nobody knows what's going on. In fact, uh, Mike McCarthy, whether he's telling the truth or not, he claims that one of the referees told him that they were going to put one second back on the clock and allow them to snap the ball. Uh, apparently that was incorrect, and either he's lying or he was lied to. Not really sure. And you see the refs hightail it out of there. They know it's not going to be good news for them, so they got to get out. And in fact, they're getting pelted by garbage on their way out of the stadium. I mean, at the end of the day, the Cowboys played horrible. 13 out of their 14 penalties were legit calls. I know there were some calls that were missed as far as holding goals on the 49ers, but this is stuff that happens every single week. The ending, I really can't explain what was going on with the refs, Dak and Tyler. I mean, they got to know that the ref has to touch the ball, which according to Dak's press conference, the procedure if the ref's not around is to put the ball on the ground. Ref comes in, touches it and uh, scoots out of there. But that's not what we saw. The ref decided to pick it up, move it around, bump into Dak, <laughs> kind of play pinball there, and uh, it just didn't work out. I really don't know why the ref was so far behind at the conclusion of the play. I mean, it takes four seconds to even enter the frame on the TV. So I'm not really sure what that's all about, but Cowboys lost this game long, long, long before that call. It's just a shame that in typical Cowboys fashion, they give us hope at the very end and then come up short. I'm seeing people kill Mike McCarthy for this call. I don't, I don't think it was a great call. It's not a call that I would have made, but I understand the logic. I mean, you have one shot at that point from about the 25-yard line to get it in the end zone versus two Hail Marys from the 40-yard line. I'll take that play you can actually scheme up and run from the 25 versus two Hail Marys and hope that doesn't get intercepted on the first one from the 40. I like those odds a lot better. Now, the chances that it converts... Probably slim to none. I would say less than 10% if I had to guess. But uh, it really sucks that now we'll never know. I and mean, that's what sucks the most is uh, we'll always kind of be wondering, well, what if they got that snap off? But, uh, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. And I'm not a huge fan of McCarthy. I'm kind of hoping they let him go next year. Uh, just penalties are absurd. Uh, the amount of penalties they had this year. A lot of bad calls. I've got other videos out about bad calls that the refs made this year. I'm going to be doing a whole series called refs um coming out here soon i'm going to review all of the calls that were bad that went against the cowboys all year long uh, i'm going to be doing uh, multiple videos there so if you want to check those out go ahead and subscribe hit the little notification bell you'll get notified when they come out and i appreciate y'all checking the video out and i'll talk to you later see ya